Hey guys, and welcome to my ninth Field Notes video. I, first off, love this cover. It is so beautiful. I just recently got a game called Parks, and it has this illustration on the cover of it, and a lot of uh, Parks Field Notes illustrations in the game, so super cool. Um, so this one, I haven't labeled the back yet, but... This was from October 2nd to October 26th, 2021. So this was when I started to really get into nature journaling, um, which makes these books probably the most visually appealing out of all of them. But here I was just starting to practice shapes um, based on John Muir Law's tips for how to get proportions and head size. In check so I was just doing quick thumbnails from images I saw online just to get it right and uh, here I went to Granville Island with my family and my friend and there was a duck pond so I thought it would be fun to do some um, some sketches of the ducks one like <laughs> tipping over super cute yeah it was it was harder than I thought. Like some of these drawings, I look at it now and I go, oh, that does not look like a duck. Like some of the bills and stuff. This one, yes. This one, yes. But it's cool because as you go, you start to learn how the different shapes look. Um, this was a flower I saw on Granville Island. And it was pretty cool. Just studying different um, angles of it and what colors it comes in. And yeah, I was right outside a coffee shop. So that was really cute. And I saw a mystery bird. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. So sometimes I like to just write that down so I can try to figure it out later. I never found out what that one was, but oh well. Uh, this was um, my sketches at the Bladell Conservatory. Um, yeah, I went just to sketch the fish and birds, and it was a really cool process. But this was still sort of before I had a really good grasp on how to draw birds so a lot of them were just kind of like quick sketches which I look at them now and go ooh could have done that better this guy was super cool um, yeah he was just walking around and he had this like big long tail that would go behind him it was really cool he was pretty big and it's a cockatoo it was really cute Oh, um, at this point I was reading a book called, uh, I forget, but, it, oh, Sibley's Birding Basics, and it basically just goes over how to draw out different bird song notes, and it's super cool, because when you, you listen, you hear them, you can record it in your journal, and then later remember how to even do it, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, there's a chickadee. There's a lot of chickadees that come to my window, which is really fun. Um, yeah, there's Sibley's Birding Basics and all the John Real Laws videos that I've been looking at and uh, studying, which is a really fun time. I haven't been doing as much nature journaling now because it's so gross and rainy outside, so I haven't necessarily wanted to go out and start journaling about it, but hopefully once it gets a little bit warmer, I will uh, get back into it. This was from uh, the Birding Basics book and just shows the different patterns and like the sections of the head. Uh, it's super helpful because you can look at it and go, oh, this is this part of the body, that's that part, and you can see how the colors sort of fit inside these areas. So super cool. And it was Thanksgiving, so I drew a little turkey. Um, there's a flicker that came to the bird seed. I just put this up. My dad gave it to me um, and gave me some bird seed, so I put it up. And uh, yeah, the birds started to come, so I started to record which birds were coming and what their sounds were. It's cool to see a flicker on it because it's so big in comparison to the feeder. Um, and usually I just get sparrows and chickadees. Uh, Junkos right here. Uh, I had some cramps. Yeah, these are the birds that had visited, and I just wrote down the timing and some notes about them, what their um, 
uh, calls sound like and how chickadees just like tap at the um, sunflower seeds to break them open. It's like hammering its head. Pretty cool. Um, these were some new um, watercolor pencils that I got. So I just did like a tester page so I could see it. And I did a Skillshare class on nature journaling and this was kind of to show all the different colors. And yeah, if you look at that class, there'll be a lot more about these pages and also just me actually going out in the field and drawing them and yeah, all, a bunch of stuff I learned and step by step how to draw birds and color them and whatnot. So check that out. Uh, the link will be below. So this is how to um, listen to bird song and record it. Pretty cool. So here's some tester pages. <laughs> Not super happy with the look of these, but it's okay. I was just testing out some colors and looking at John Muirlaw's videos and yeah, I've got watercolor pencil, but also regular just colored pencil that I use mostly. This was also the same day testing out colors. I was getting really frustrated because I was trying to learn a new technique and it didn't look how I wanted it to look. However, I think that same night I did this page, which is probably my favorite bird page. I don't know, there's something about it, it just clicked. And I found a good way of using color to record things and I took my time with it and it was, it was really cool. Uh, my roommate saw this bird uh, while she was out by the water and she took a photo and asked me to identify it because that's super fun for me. And I found out it was an American Dipper. And it fit with the location of the bird and what it was doing and the look and everything. So I just did some research on it and saw what they ate, how they dive into the water. It's pretty cool. Um, they bob up and down on the rocks and just talking about juveniles have a light colored beak and white on the tips of their wings unlike adults who don't. Um, here these were the different food items in my bird seed that I had and um, just kind of writing down like which birds go for what um, food and yeah. This was, I don't know if you've ever seen, it's a YouTube video where this like bird is walking across the road to the get it song. It's like, get it, get it, get it. But it is probably my favorite video. It's so funny. And its head just like bobs up and down as it does it. So I called it the get it bird. Um, yeah, and then I just recorded the noises and where it lives, some fun facts. Uh, I got this sweater. I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, it says redhead on it, and I'd been looking for this sweater for probably, I don't know, a couple years. Not intensely, but um, if I ever saw it, I wanted to get it. And it was gifted to me by um, someone at my church. So, yeah, that was a really exciting surprise. Yeah, that was me freaking out about it. Um, I copied this down from the Birding Basics books. It's just the different patterns on feathers. And my bird dropped a feather and it had the edged um, yeah, pattern on it. So I thought it would be cool to stick it in there. It's like a real life example. Um, yep, yeah, this was me drawing fairy wrens, which I have never seen one. But <laughs> I've looked them up and they are so cute. So, yes. And then I wrote, do I like them so much more because their name is Fairy Wren? Yes, that's probably part of the reason for sure. And then I just put their eggs. This is actually the page that I go through how to draw in my Skillshare class. And this was just blending colors and testing them out, showing how you can mix them. And just journaling about life and uncomfortable emotions. Um, talking about John Muir Lies got well, okay. John Muir Law's Guide to Nature Drawing and Journaling. I got that from the library and it was so cool. I didn't go through all of it because I had to bring it back and there's a big waiting list for it, but it was really cool. And I also felt really really in the mood for McDonald's that day, which probably killed me after, so yeah. And here's different things I could draw for nature journaling. 
Uh, block diagrams are super cool. I haven't done enough of those. Close-up textures, uh, behaviors, counting like the numbers of birds or how many insects they caught or food or yeah. That's pretty cool. This was the layout of the coffee shop I was at. I wanted to do sort of nature journaling stuff that day, but it was pouring rain outside, so I thought, why don't I just do it about the building I'm in? This was uh, Delaney's Cafe in West Van. Um, yes, these are woodpeckers. So a downy woodpecker came to my feeder, and I just wrote, drew the difference between a hairy woodpecker and a downy because the downy looks super cute, and they got such a tiny little beak. Um, yeah, I was, I was really proud of this page, too. And just some notes about how long it takes them to make a hole and their average lifespan. And, yeah, that was a really exciting new visitor at my bird feeder. Um, yeah, just talking to him, journaling out some feelings. And then I did uh, these nest studies, which I uh, did after watching a John Real Laws video. And it's really cool. Like, he shows you how to, like, layer all the different, um, I don't know, nest bits on top of each other. So it looks like it, there's depth to the photo. And it's crazy how many different kinds of nests there are. I never knew. You could just kind of assume they're sort of like the bowl shape. But there's so many different kinds. It's really cool. This was a bird I saw at the Bloedel Conservatory. And it had little cheeks. It was so cute. And this was what its nest looked like. So... Yeah, this is probably one of my most visual field notes, though I think the next one is also pretty visual as well. But Thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and if you could like it, that would be so great. Make me feel so good. And comment with what you like or things that you'd like to see or just whatever you want to say. Well, have a great day. Bye, guys.